Hi there folks, it's um, Shirley Young from Handmade by Shirley. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be making a scene and I'm going to be using the lovely vignettes um, from Halcyon Haven from Tattered Lace. And I've also got some nice pink card. They have different colours. They've got purples and pinks and light blues. And this lovely vellum, which they also have as well, which is, is pretty. And you'll notice there's glue, but I'm going to cover the glue. I've got a nice little frame that I've put double-sided tape on. And that's just going to frame round. And then I'm going to put bring in my elements and make it into a little card. So I'm going to be using different products. I'm not demonstrating them, I'm just making a card. So I'm going to pop this on first and I can then work on making my scene after I've put my frame on. So it's it's just to hide basically the um what do you call it? It's the um, the glue and also just to give it a bit of a frame. So just going to kind of hover over it a bit and I'm not going to press it right down yet because it's a bit squint here so I'll just take that back off uh -huh. come on off you come cool so I'm going to have to pull this down to actually look at it so just bear with me while I do that Try and centre it if you're doing this card, if you decide to copy me or um, do something similar. There we go, that will do. Now you notice I've got some wee corners that are not very, I've got bits of pen, but I'm going to be covering them. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. So I've got this lovely vignette, which is bamboo. And I had dyes and I've just cut this out. So I'm going to layer that on. I've got a nice little boat. Three boats that I've cut out. And I'm going to um, decoupage, them, decoupage even them up. And I've got some lovely um, pink blossom, cherry blossom as well. And you'll notice there's cherry blossom in the vellum too. Um, but I've, I'm going to just kind of go over that on one or two sides. Just whatever I decide. So I'm trying to decide if I will put the whole amount on there. That's quite nice. But I am going to put the boat. So to start off with, I'm just going to put one boat flat down onto the vellum. And then I'm going to decoupage the other two up. So I'm just going to pop it roughly here because I'm sure if I pop this on just I don't want it covering the boat too much and you can still see the boat just move it very slightly across there okay and now I've got some pin flare glue you could use foam pads if you didn't want to but I just find this is quicker um, and I like using it basically. It's stuck to my fingers there. Come on. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just, as I say, I'm just going to decoupage these up. So I'm just going to put a couple of wee blobs. You could do a long blob if you wanted of glue. And I'm just going to hover over that and just stick that on top just to give it a bit of height. And I'm going to do the same with this one. So just a couple of dots or you could make a big long line of glue like that. And then just hover above and pop it on. Don't press it down too, too much because then you, you lose that kind of height. So I've got two of these. So um, uh, this one's not quite cut out properly, so 
So I do want to, I'm wondering if I should cut that off that bit there because it's kind of obscuring the boat a bit. So I just want to lay that on just at the edge of my frame and then that would go on top. So this bit I'll take out again because I don't want to cover my boat. So this is what I'm going to do. So this one, I'm going to just put glue on this bit here to attach it to the card up there a little bit as well, a wee bit maybe down there and then that should attach it because I don't want it going on to my vellum. So there we go. So just attach it where you want it to go. It has gone on to my vellum a little bit. Never mind, just kind of, there we go. And when I've finished, I can just snip off the top there. So I'm going to now put some of the pin flare onto the second piece of bamboo. So I want a bit there, a bit there, oh, and it comes out. Here, tiny bit on there somewhere, <laughs> a little bit here, and also I'm just going to fix it so that it's going to actually come out. When I squeeze, I'll pop a little bit on here as well. And a tiny bit maybe just down here, just to keep that height. So, just carefully pop this over. Just take your time to do it. And you can see there's a little tiny bit coming out here. So just pop that under. There we go. There we go, and that looks pretty good. I'll just leave that there. So. And then I've also now got um, my blossom. So I can't decide. I might put a little bit of blossom here because we've got a little bit of pen mark here. Unless we can hide that with maybe these leaves that are just here we could do that. There's always a way to kind of hide stuff. So just pop that bit on there and this glue will dry clear when it's finished so it's not going to leave anything. I will just wipe it though a bit with a little bit of a wipe. well which I've noticed a wee bit of glue but as I say that'll that'll dry clear I just like to kind of wipe it off though as I go you don't have to just wipe that away there we go so as I was saying I've got some pieces of um, blossom here so I'm going to probably cut them, I'll probably bring a few this side as well, just to cover that. So I'll just pop this on flat and then I can cut the excess off after. So I'll just cut that on flat here, so bring that down and just and, and just and I can pop and I can take that excess off later and I think I'll put one here as well 
so I just really want it I don't really want it at the ends because that will go into the vellum and I want to leave it loose because I think it looks a bit more natural that way so I'll just pop that onto there as well like so and that's starting to come together it's looking good um, and I think we'll do another another one here as well I didn't want it too low did I? no so I'll just pop that over the top oh no was I going to uh, a minute I thought I was going to actually do one here, wasn't I? No, no, that's not what I meant to do. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one on the top using the pin flare because I just want two layers here. I don't want to overly do it. And I'll leave the um, ends here because I don't need anything on that. So if I just lay that on top and that will give its height we can snip this off later and that just keeps it there and then we can do no no I need to actually put pin flare on this because I've not got any more to cut out so I'm just going to do the same for the opposite side and hopefully that glue will stick on top of the other glue. So it's resisting a bit here. Just pop a bit on there. Okay, and then we'll just pop this over onto here. We're just layering it up a bit to give it a wee bit of dimension. And there we go. And don't press down too much because you want it to be lifted up. This little bit here, um, I've got a piece here that we could bring in just on the corner as well. So if we lift, where's that other wee piece of leaf? I had another piece of leaf. What did I do with it? <laughs> it's hidden. Oh no, it's up here. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit of the white here because where I've cut with the dye it's gone slightly out so I'm just going to take that white away because I don't want white on there. Okay, um, there's still another wee bit here. These are all snippable if you're working with these types of things. Um, I really do like these because you get to use the dye on the artwork and the artwork's so nice. Same with the other company I use, Carnation Crafts, artwork is amazing. So just want to so I just want to kind of pop this over the top here. So pop this one down first with some white glue because we're sticking it onto the corner first. Like so. Just on the edge. And then I'm going to pop this little leaf on as well. And you could cut out anything if you were making these and you know just foliage it up a bit. So just popping that on there just to give it a wee bit more interest again. And then I'm just going to put my second layer using my pin flare. And it does look a bit of the mess just now, but I am going to cut the edge off so you know it will look much nicer when it's done definitely so just pop a little bit on there and just pull this back 
and go under there like that. There we go. That's cool. And we've still got a few other bits, but I, I don't really know if I want to put them on. That one. I mean, I could, but I don't want to overpower it. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. And then when this is dry, I'm going to come back and cut all the bits off. And we'll pop an insert in and we'll pop a sentiment message on the front. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.